Hi, uh, welcome to your 6 p.m. yoga vinyasa uh, with the Yoga Seed. My name is Kristen. Uh, and thank you so much to you or to those of you that have joined um, this live stream. If there's any uh, poses or any specific parts of the body that you want to work on, um, I will give you all a chance maybe to chime in or if you have an opportunity to to send us some of those ideas, we'd love to have them uh, for designing these classes. Um, but for now, what we're, we're gonna work on is a uh, class together that'll work on supporting the low back um, as well as the neck, because they're all kind of, both kind of connected. Uh, with that being said, we'll start our class with a short little seated meditation, just to ground into this space. So go ahead and close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. And we'll notice about five breaths coming and going. Feeling maybe for the first time today and really paying attention to what our breath is doing. Noticing where the belly expands, where it fills up to the top of the collarbone noticing how it feels as you exhale. Noticing here, just taking a special close attention to how you physically feel. Uh, maybe that you feel restless, tired, And then noticing if there's any emotional or mental feelings that come up for you. There's a lot going on right now in the world and a lot of feelings get stirred up. And sometimes, and I'm only speaking from personal experience, but it's uh, often feels so chaotic right now and so um, different that I often forget to ask myself how I feel because you kind of get carried away in the intensity of the present moment. Let's start to build some breath awareness in with this movement now. So let's take our hands to our center of our chest and on an inhale, we'll bring our arms up and overhead. Exhale brings them around and down. Inhale, we'll bring them up and overhead, maybe even looking up. Exhale to the center of our chest. Inhale, we'll go up. Exhale, around and down. Inhaling up, arms meet at the top. Exhale, hands come to the center of the chest. Breathing, ideally your whole breath moves through the, with emotion. Exhale, arms will come around and down. This will be the last one. Inhale, bring those arms up and overhead. Exhale to the center of our chest. Let's take the hands and put, take them to the knees. We'll take a couple uh, seated cat and cows. So what this means is we move our spine on an inhale to arch the spine, so looking up a little bit. So we'll inhale up with the spine. We'll turn so we can see here. And then exhale, rounding through the back, looking down at the ground. We'll repeat that, so we'll inhale, look up. Exhale, down. And see if you can bring your breath with you through this. So as you inhale, bring the breath up. Exhale, you'll feel the breath and then pulling the belly button in. A few more. And let's do this last one together. All right, I'm starting to face you all now here again. So we'll do a, a little bit of a twist here. So let's take the right hand up, place it on the left knee or left leg, 
and then the left hand will come behind you and we'll do a little bit of a spinal twist. Inhale slightly, lift the spine, and then exhale, look over the shoulder maybe. And pay attention, it feels like it's too much on the neck, you'll wanna take off that intensity. It's more about listening to how your body feels in this versus kind of what I'm telling you. All right, let's come back to center on an inhale. Shake it out and kind of feel what it's like. Just kind of noticing. And then we'll bring that left hand up on an inhale. Exhale, brings it to the right knee. Right hand will come kind of behind you. And you'll twist off, looking off to the right. If you want a little bit more, you'll turn your neck to the right. For me, that's like way too much on my neck. So I'm just going to kind of not do it all the way. That really plays into what listening to the body scene it feels like. Inhaling back into center and then kind of feeling it out. Doing some neck rolls, going both directions. And then the other. All right, let's shake it out. And then we'll come back into three still breaths uh, before we move into the rest of our practice. Noticing and paying attention again. How does it feel now in my back of the neck? How does it feel like in the back? Often we notice the most maybe painful or I call them loud sensations. Things that don't feel right in the body. Notice that first because sometimes that's just the easiest but also challenge yourself to feel parts of the body that are not experiencing that. So like your hands maybe, or your upper arms. It can be really anywhere in your body. Maybe it's the parts of you that are sitting on the mat. All right, last breath here before we transition to me in tabletop. So no rush to get there, but that's where I'll meet you. We'll find ourselves in tabletop. So tabletop, for those of you that aren't as familiar with it, uh, the pose looks how the name sounds, table. Your hands are the arms of the legs, the feet, the knees come down, and then your feet are in the back. They can be tucked. Let's see what you can see. They can be tucked or they can be flat. Either way, uh, the tucked version when your toes are down is better for balancing. And then when it's flat, it's just a little bit more of a uh, core exercise. So either one works, just figure out which one is better for you. We'll take our uh, time here, but we're gonna put our right arm out and feel into that. If you want something a little bit more, you'll take the uh, left leg back, flexing through that back foot. Holding here for about five breaths. Challenging ourselves to really uh, move into stillness. But also at the same time, be activating, getting a little bit of some muscular activation that helps to hopefully ease us into um, a little bit more relaxing practice at the end. Setting that down. We'll reset. And then we'll take the right leg back, left arm out. Holding here again we'll do for five breaths. We're almost there. And then coming back. Noticing again, we'll pause. We want to feel into what it's like on either side of the back now. Maybe you can feel the muscles because they just got activated or maybe they feel sore. All right. We'll take a uh, cat and cow posture here again. So inhaling to look up, exhale down. Repeating that here. Feeling into the spine as it articulates and moves. 
go ahead and take any intuitive movements that feel right. So maybe that is looking side to side. Maybe that's like hip circles. I mean, any number of different sensations that feel right in the body. Come back to neutral here in tabletop. And we're gonna leave the palms right where they're at. And as we exhale, we're gonna let these elbows come out to the side and we're gonna sit in a child's pose. So from tabletop, elbows come out and we sit in a child's pose. Feeling into child's pose here for three breaths. Inhale comes into tabletop. Exhale again, back into child's pose. Let the elbows come out wide, hands stay. Inhaling up, using this dynamic movement to bring the whole breath in and out. Two more here. We'll come back to tabletop. And from tabletop, we're gonna take the hands about one hand length uh, towards the top of your mat. And you're gonna untuck the toes and we're gonna meet in down dog. You have a blanket in between like I do right now. You can set that aside. I'm gonna set mine aside, but feel free to leave yours if you want for right now. Inhale, we'll look to the front of our mat. Exhale, we'll walk forward, meeting in a forward fold. We'll inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Again, maybe shake the head. Yes, nodding it or shake it no. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we'll fold. Last one. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rises us up for a mountain. And then exhale, hands come to the heart. See, I'll back up here. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, we'll open up to the right. Arms come out to a T and we twist to look to the right. Inhale, look up to center. Exhale, looking to the left. Arms open up to that T again. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, we'll fold. We'll inhale to come up, back into mountain. Exhale, hands come to heart center. We'll sit into our first uh, chair for the practice. So inhaling, arms up. Exhale, we'll sit into a chair. So we want to be low enough where we're getting enough of some thigh engagement, but not too low where we're not able to steady our breath. Noticing how it feels, if there's any tension in the shoulders, it may need to relax. Two more breaths here. Inhaling, arms reach up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. We'll do one more of that twist. So inhale, arms reach up. We'll exhale to look to the right. Arms reach out to a T. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, we'll look to the left. Arms come out to that T again. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, back one more chair. You did you not do chair in this, right? I don't think I've done chair uh, since <laughs> probably a couple yoga classes ago. Um, probably since I've been in the studio. I often don't uh, push myself in a lot of my own at home yoga practices. Just cause usually it's at the end of the night, I'm kind of tired. But for now, since I have other people with me, we'll, we'll share this chair <laughs> pose together. Two more breaths and fold. Thank you for hanging in there with me. All right, let's inhale, half lift. Exhale, we'll fold, we'll plant the hands, we'll step back to a plank. Lower down the knees, coming down onto the belly. We'll do a dynamic cobra. So hands underneath the shoulders. When you inhale, you'll lift the head up and just the shoulders. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, forehead comes up. Exhale, brings you right back down. 
Last one, inhale brings you up. Exhale, come back into child's pose. In child's pose right now, we're gonna come into prayer hands. Uh, it's just a name that it's often referred to as when your hands are together. So you'll be in child's pose and then your elbows will kind of walk out kind of ahead of your ears alongside your head and then your hands will meet up top. This one is good for kind of headaches, releases the neck. Coming back in out of this pose, we'll meet next in uh, tabletop. So back in tabletop, we're gonna work on opening up this neck a little bit here. So I'll turn this way so you all can see. We'll start by bringing the left hand up and overhead. We'll look at that left hand all the way up. So we exhale, we'll thread it all the way through. Forehead will kiss the mat. Inhale, we'll come right back out. Inhale, we come out, unthread the needle, looking at that left hand up. Exhale, okay, bring it through. Four I kisses the mat. One more inhale, looking up. Exhale, thread it through. This time we will stay. Feel free to rest on maybe a blanket on your forehead. You can also rest onto your cheek. Take your right hand to the mat again, unthread the needle, looking up at that left hand, and then exhale, sets it down. Just notice and observe if there's any changes in the experience. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll look at the right hand all the way up. Exhale, threads it through, forehead comes down. Two more. Last one. Exhale, threads it through. This time we get to stay, resting on the forehead or the cheek. Inhale, bring ourselves out, we bring the arm all the way up, and then exhale, we set it down. All right, from tabletop, we're gonna take ourselves to the ground, bring our legs around out front, and we're gonna come to a kind of half uh, butterfly shape. So we're gonna take the bend at the right knee, Bring the right sole of the foot alongside the inside part of the left leg. The left leg can be straight. The knee doesn't kind of touch the ground yet or needs to be a little bit bent. We can roll up a little blanket or a towel and allow that knee to kind of rest onto that. We're gonna come into a fold into this position. But we're gonna open up the side body. So we'll reach the right arm up we're going to turn and face the right leg, so facing that right knee, and then exhale to fold over so that that right hand reaches towards the left leg. It's a little much to hold that hand up the whole time, so you can take it down. You don't have to keep it up. And it's really nice if you have a pillow nearby. You can allow your arm to maybe rest on that. And see if we can kind of focus on getting that right shoulder to come a little bit out, there we go. We'll start to come up and then shake it out. All right, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Sorry, all of you out there that are probably hearing 
Uh, Weird Strange Noises here. My kids are home. Um, and they are playing. So if you hear any little screams or pitter patters, that's what that is. <laughs> Just as a, a warning. Um, all right, so we'll come to the other side. We'll bend at the left knee. Bring the inside sole of the left foot next to the right. Inside the right thigh. Same thing here where we can prop up our knee down here. This works especially when we're still have really, when we have tight hamstrings and we're not able to kind of straighten out that leg when we stretch and it gives it nice uh, support there for it to rest. All right, so we'll take that um, left hand up to the sky, turn to face the left knee, and then we'll fold to the side pivoting here, reaching towards the right toes. Again, you may want to kind of prop yourself up Make it a little bit more restorative. Reaching out for the fingertips before you kind of come out. Notice if you can get any longer in that side torso. Inhaling will come up. And then exhale to kind of set it out and tap the legs out. All right, we'll come to a butterfly shape next. And it's called butterfly because it kind of looks like butterfly wings. This is a great place if you have yoga blocks to support the legs. Um, blankets work as well to kind of prop up the leg if they need a little bit of extra support right here. It's just to kind of show you what that looks like. Feeling, if it feels right, you'll kind of settle yourself in. If it doesn't feel right, you'll adjust and make those changes as you need to. If you have um, pillows, this is a great place to do this. These classes should be saved on a Facebook later, so if you want to come back to this video at another time and have all the props back, uh, you'll know what to grab. Um, but if you have a pillow, feel free to grab it. And then when you have it, you'll just kind of set yourself up to come to a fold. Just noticing how this yin or restorative posture feels. It doesn't feel like you can relax or settle into it. You may need to make some adjustments. But the idea that you should have enough uh, relaxation where you can start to work with a nervous system and allow it to come into a rest or a digest, a rest and digest place. Becomes down regulated. It starts to maybe feel a little bit of a sense of calm. After this posture, we'll do a few more of these kind of restorative yin postures. It's gonna really bring more of that sense of calm into the practice and hopefully into our bodies and minds as well. Coming out of the posture slowly here, we'll bring the knees together. All right, so we're gonna come to the back next and so on the back what we're going to do here is come into constructive rest so what that looks like is the knees are going to come together and then the feet will be the width of your yoga mat or your towel the feet should be wider than your hips and the knees should come together Taking maybe one hand on top of the chest and the other on the low belly, just feel into what your breath is like now. Does it feel like you can fully fill up the low belly? Does the breath move all the way up the chest, maybe up to the collarbones?
from here, I'll just kind of windshield wiper the legs side to side, kind of like windshield wipers on a car, right, when it's raining. I'll come to do a supported bridge. Um, we can do, I said supported, but it can be supported or it can be without the support. The support is generally with a block, maybe a blanket or uh, a bolster or a pillow of some sort. I'm going to turn sideways so y'all can see. And then we want the feet um, about hips distance, the knees about hips distance as well. And the arms can be alongside the body. If you have low back problems or anything um, that's really flaring up, take it easy in this position. While it may not bother you now, it may affect you later. So just kind of be cautious or be mindful of what it feels like as you come up. So as we come up, we'll press the palms into the mat and we'll inhale, lift the hips up. And then exhale to come down. We'll do three of these dynamic, move, dynamic movements. Inhaling up, hips come up exhale down all right we'll do one more this one will stay so palms come to press into the mat and we lift the hips up kind of bringing the uh make sure the knees don't kind of come out too much so we want to kind of keep the knees together you can take the hands underneath the back or you can leave them alongside Seeing if you can see your belly as it rises and falls. Two more breaths here, but feel free to come out if you need to. Start to come down just slowly lowering we're gonna come into figure four next so let's take the legs up uh, if you have a wall nearby you could also have them there of the legs up we'll bend at the right knee like we're crossing over our right foot on top of the left and then we take a hand on either side of the leg and just kind of bring it towards the body Leg, this leg right here, the left leg can remain straightened or bent. Inhaling both legs up now to switch. And we'll exhale to switch. So we'll bend at the left knee, we'll cross that right around that left ankle, somewhere over that left thigh, or right below that knee. And we hug the left in. you're ready to come out we'll take both legs up maybe turn the ankles bend the knees a little bit we'll come into a supine twist so we'll take the arms out to a T the knees will be bent we'll inhale at center and then exhale we'll drop those knees off to the right side gentle twist here if you want something more you'll look off to that left um, arm Inhale to bring the knees up and then exhale to twist. Go ahead and stay there for a few breaths. I will be right back.
stars to come out of that posture. Thank you for those at home there with me. It's getting a little loud in the house here. I wanted to quiet down the, uh, the monkeys in the house. Um, so uh, from this position, we'll come out of the twist. We'll come to find our final version of Shavasana or what is often called corpse pose. So if you need any pillows, get the pillow. If you need a blanket, feel free to grab a blanket. Let's we'll close out this practice together. Taking a moment to just press pause. Setting aside any breath control that may be lingering from our practice together. Take a moment to just feel what it's like in your body now. Notice it. Maybe even label it. And then come back to just noticing the breath. so important that we have some kind of practice in place that allows us to relax or maybe attempt to relax a little bit. It helps the nervous system really just press reset. now in one of the most stressful times that I can think of is probably the biggest gift we can give ourselves is a gift of having a self-care practice that offers us relaxation offers us a way to find ourselves back home For many of us, we may be home already. But what I mean is, through the practice of yoga, we find ourselves back to the inner home that we have wherever we go. Before we start to come out of our Shavasana together, try to recall something you remember about the space that you're in. Maybe where you're laying down, maybe where there's a light on or a window. And feeling into maybe three different tactile sensations you can feel. Maybe it's the fingertips, the toes, or a fan or air blowing onto you, or the weight of your body. And finally, remember where you're at right now. And start to envision yourself coming out of your practice. coming out of this yoga practice together and into the ultimate real practice of yoga, that which is life. When you're ready, you'll come up to a comfortable seat, no rush to get there. Just end this time together. Same way that we started, which was those kind of three short, maybe five short breaths here together. Hopefully they're long breaths, but I mean short in duration. 
It won't be here for that long. We inevitably know where we're going. But let's just be truly present right here and right now. It said that uh, we spend about 47% of our day mentally time traveling to other maybe past events that have happened or maybe future events that we think might happen. We spend 47% of our day mentally time traveling back and forth. So yoga and meditation offers us a chance to sharpen our tool of presence. So maybe we only spend 40% of our day mentally time traveling and not 47. Or maybe one day, maybe 20%. The idea is we stay present through everything right now. Even when we don't want to, try to come back to the moment, just remembering your breath. Remember how it feels to be you right now. More than anything, remember that we're never alone in this journey. Collectively, we're all experiencing the same thing. So in that, we have a unique opportunity to be more connected in that experience than ever before. At least in my lifetime, and, and I'm guessing for many others as well. When you're ready, we'll take the hands up and overhead, drawing palms together at the top. Exhale to the center of our chest. One more like that. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Hands at heart center. We're gonna do, or I'm gonna do an ohm with y'all. Hopefully you chime in. If you don't, it's okay, I will never know. Great thing about doing it here is that nobody else can hear you do your own, which is, I know something, or somebody is a beginner in yoga that, that, that I felt self-conscious about it. So now's the time to practice it. Collectively, let's take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. All right, we'll take an inhale again. Oh. Taking the hands to the forehead center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, this evening. It is an honor to be a part of your life right now in this way. The light and the shadow in me honors and recognizes that very same existence in you. Together we say, Namaste. Snaps for showing up on your Tuesday 6 p.m. class. Um, if you've ever practiced the yoga seed, we usually end most classes with snaps. So we'll keep that going right now. Um, props to everyone who came uh, to this class, whether it was on a live stream or uh, aired afterward on YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, we appreciate your support um, as a nonprofit the yoga seed needs your support now more than ever um, so please if you have the ability to even donate five or ten dollars do so now uh, there should be a donation link at the bottom of this video if not you can find that on our website uh, and thanks again to all those who have donated already uh, we've seen those donations come in we're just uh, so grateful for all of our community support right now thank you so much and i hope you have a great evening i uh, will see you next time bye